In this video, we'll share the top 14 things to do in Santa Fe. At number one, we have the Museum of International Folk Art. This museum, established in 1953, boasts the largest collection of international folk art in the world. It houses a vast array of items, including textiles, wood carvings, ceramics, and more, all divided by geographical region. The foundation of the collection comes from Florence de Bell Bartlett, the museum's founder, and has greatly expanded over the years thanks to generous donations. At number two, we have the Santa Fe Opera House. This state's top performing arts center presents a wide variety of operatic works, ranging from traditional favorites to contemporary performances. The Santa Fe Opera House is known for its unique tradition of tailgating, where theatergoers in formal wear mingle in the parking lot while enjoying upscale finger food. The Opera House also offers apprenticeship programs for all aspects of production, and backstage tours are available year-round. At number three, we have the Georgia O'Keeffe Museum. This museum houses the world's largest collection of O'Keeffe's work, with more than 3,000 of her paintings, drawings, and assorted works. The museum also hosts special exhibitions of O'Keeffe's work, or that of other modernists. Year-round activities include lectures, workshops, and kids' activities. At number four, we have the Museum of Indian Arts and Culture, Laboratory of Anthropology. This museum, one of the centerpieces of the entire Southwest, was founded in 1909 with the mission to preserve the material culture of the Native Americans of the region. The museum hosts impressive collections of pottery, jewelry, basketry, and saddle blankets, as well as regular performances of Native American music, dances, storytelling, and other traditions. At number five, we have the Cathedral Basilica of St. Francis of Assisi. This beautiful example of Romanesque revival architecture is characterized by its Corinthian columns, rounded arches, and square towers. The cathedral's interior is impressive yet simple, enhanced by features such as a Brazilian granite baptismal font, stained glass imported from France, and delicate woodwork. At number six, we have the Museum of New Mexico complex. This complex houses four museums that explore the state's heritage. The New Mexico History Museum chronicles the state's history from the 16th century onwards, with exhibits that look at the native populations, colonization, and the ways the Santa Fe Trail shaped the state's economy and development. At number seven, we have the Santa Fe Farmer's Market. More than 150 local growers and vendors converge every Saturday morning at the refurbished Santa Fe Rail Yard for this market. The market itself has been in operation since 2002, with an ever-expanding array of products, from dried beans and peas to squashes, apples, corn, breads, breakfast burritos, and coffee. At number eight, we have the Loretto Chapel. In 1850, Archbishop Jean-Baptiste Lamy requested that the Sisters of Loretto send seven members from Kentucky to Santa Fe to help him grow the struggling New Mexico educational system. In 1853, the Sisters opened the Academy of Our Lady of Light for 300 girls, and Lamy rewarded them by constructing this touching Gothic Revival-style chapel. At number nine, we have the San Miguel Mission Chapel, one of the oldest religious buildings in the United States and the oldest of its kind in Santa Fe. The Chapel of San Miguel was originally built in 1636. It was later burned and rebuilt at the start of the 18th century. It contains a number of fine statues and a high altar from 1798, with the likeness of St. Gertrude. At number 10, we have the Randall Davy Audubon Center. This 135-acre center on Upper Canyon Road in Santa Fe has bird-watching tours and nature walks. It is a peaceful setting with a little history to it as well. The center sees approximately 130 different species of birds. You can wander the trails on their own or take a guided walking tour to learn about the environment and its inhabitants. At number 11, we have the El Rancho de las Golondrinas. Located 10 minutes south of Santa Fe, El Rancho de las Golondrinas is a living history museum located on a former Spanish ranch dating back to 1710. This expansive 200-acre facility has 33 historic buildings, including originals, as well as relocated historic buildings from around the state. At number 12, we have the Wheelwright Museum of the American Indian. The Wheelwright Museum focuses on the arts and crafts of the Native Americans of the American Southwest. In addition to a great variety of cultural objects, woven fabrics, silverware, and sand paintings, it has a collection of old writing and even some documents inscribed in clay. At number 13, we have the Liquid Light Glass. This is a studio and gallery created by the acclaimed glassblower Elodie Holmes. 
admire the finished pieces, watch as the artists shape new creations, and even take a class. Workshops vary in length, and students can learn how to design and make their own glass creations, including paperweights, blown glass cups, and flowers. At number 14, we have the Canyon Roads Galleries. Canyon Road was once a trade route leading to the community of Pecos on the eastern slope of the mountains. Today, a half-mile-long stretch has become the heart of Santa Fe's Arts District, home to over 80 galleries and a wide assortment of artisan jewelry stores and boutiques. So that sums up my top 14 things to do in Santa Fe. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like on the video. And if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. Until next time, have a great day.